Hello, Septa Sora. I'm Septa. I'm Sor, and this is us. And today we'll be checking out BTS Cypher Part 3. Killer. Featuring Supreme Boy. Yeah. Um, it's been a minute since we checked out any of the ciphers. It's like they're, they're savage tracks. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited to hear this one. They do some really surprising stuff with their flows. And I'm I'm excited. I'm always interested to see like how fast they decide to go or not. If they if they're like, oh, I'm feeling speedy, or if they're oh, I'm feeling flowy. Mm-hmm. I'm curious which way they're gonna take it this time. Me too. And I'm ready. So far that music makes me think of like Zelda. <laughs> I was gonna say that too! <laughs> That was 
my first time ever hearing any Supreme Boy. Yeah, same. And when <laughs> when they like had Supreme Boy like pop up there, mm-hmm. just I wasn't expecting him to look like that. I guess I, don't I know. know. I didn't either. It's really interesting uh, with the ciphers because all of them I usually enjoy something different about. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Sugar, I just like his delivery a lot. Like he can be very aggressive mm-hmm. in like a very swaggy way. Does that make sense? Yes. And then J Hope, I just love his like flows and stuff like a lot. I just really like just how all of his parts just are just really fun to listen to. Mm-hmm. And then RM, of course, has like the crazy like wordplay stuff going on. And I know. It's, that's and it, really like, cool. it makes you and think while you're listening. Exactly. Yeah. And, and then to get it all kind of combined into a single track is just really interesting. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that. And I thought that they all did fantastic. Yeah. It was definitely a cipher. I'm starting to like be able to like pin down the sound of their ciphers for the most part. They all have the same message, which they ain't wrong. (laughs) (laughs) Also, give us some like details about Supreme Boy because don't know anything about him in any way. Yeah, I don't either. Um, Wait, we might have seen him in one of the Rise of Bongtown episodes. Is he friends with one of the guys? And was he in one of those episodes? Oh, my God. I think so. I think he was like talking to RM or something. Yeah. Right. Is, I that, think, is that the is that what you're thinking of? Yes. Was with him with RM. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I, think I so could too. be losing my mind, but I think that he was in there because he's friends with one of the guys. Yeah, I think you might be right, but I still don't know much about him. So he's fill, me, fill me in. Yeah, yeah. Fill me in about it a little bit. Um, but that was that was really cool. I'm I'm still not like the biggest like diss track or whatever type of person. Fan. It was really cool, but it's not really my flavor. So I can't say I'm gonna be listening to it all the time. But uh, it was good. I, I enjoyed it. I would agree. I'm not like a huge delver into like rap in general. But every now and then I I get struck with the mood to listen to some. Mm-hmm. So. We'll see. We'll see if this creeps up and uh, is like replayed. Random story time for no reason. So we went over to my sister-in-law's, her sister. Yeah, my sister's place. Place. And it was for the 4th of July. So we were, you know, fireworks, all that stuff. But while we were there, um, suddenly uh, on the street (laughs) with J-Hope. Yeah! came on and we lost our minds because I don't think I've ever heard anyone play anything even BTS related ever outside. Yeah. Here outside of, uh, you know, us just watching BTS stuff. Yeah. I've never just like come across it ever. Yeah. Ever and here. I think that my niece is the one who was in charge of the music. Yeah. And so it was just on her playlist, which was just really cool. We were both like, no way. We were so excited. <laughs> so excited. Um, it was just a random story. I don't know. I was just proud of, it's proud of Hobie. Yeah. For like reaching some new people and younger generation and stuff where we live. Because of course they reach a ton of people, but where we live, oh my God, like it's all country and like if you even bring up BTS or anything related to BTS, it's always, you know, boy bands. We don't listen to that kind of crap yeah, and it's, whatever. It's and just full on like stereotyping. Exactly. So it was just so exciting. It was. It was really cool. Yeah. And it was awesome to see everybody getting down to it. Yeah. Everyone loved it. And it was like, yes, <laughs> let's go. <Yeah>. Let's go. <laughs> That's our boy. That's our boy. That's our boy. If you made this far, please consider like and subscribe and hit that bell. We have a BTS playlist if you want to check that out. We also react to live BTS content over on our Patreon for our top tier patrons if you want to check that out. Until next time. Please remember that we love you. Stay safe and healthy. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. (laughs) Bye.